Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review of The Call. This movie is directed by Brad Anderson. The movie stars Halle Berry and Abigail Breslin. Now, when I first saw the trailer to this movie, I thought, great. WWE Films is coming out with another movie. It's going to bomb. It's going to star a wrestler. The acting's not going to be any good. So I was like, uh, I can pass on it. But then I saw that it was rated R and it was starring Halle Berry, and I thought, okay, maybe WWE Films is stepping up their game. And having seen The Call, I can tell you that they have, and I'm actually glad that I saw this movie. Jordan, an emergency 911 operator who receives a phone call one night from a girl whose home is being broken into. And, well, the girl ends up being kidnapped and the whole situation doesn't end well, and Halle Berry just becomes distraught. Well, six months later, with the help of medication, she's pretty much over the whole ordeal. And she suddenly receives a phone call from a girl who's being kidnapped, and she believes that the man who kidnapped the girl from before is now responsible for this kidnapping as well. And so Halle Berry must talk to this girl over the phone and get her through the whole ordeal and experience and get her to safety. Now, I had my expectations going to this movie. I thought it was going to be like the movie Cellular, and though it was like the movie Cellular and Taking the Pill 1, 2, 3 and Source Code and even the beginning of Taken, all of those movies were unique where you had a character who had to talk to somebody through a radio or a phone to kind of get them calm, get them comforted, and pretty much get them through a terrifying situation. And don't worry, this movie is over the phone the whole time, but it's okay because the pacing is nice. Not only was the pacing nice, but the music also works in this movie, and there were some pretty emotional and intense scenes in this film. You know, there were parts where you didn't think the situation could, could get any worse, you know. You'd be, you know, rooting for the hero. You'd be like, okay, here's your, you know, window of hope and opportunity. And then, boom, something would happen. You'd be like, dang it, dang it. How are they going to get out of this now? So it, it was a nice film. As far as the acting goes, the acting was good overall. Halle Berry did have some pretty funny-looking hair in the movie, but you can overlook that in a second. Her acting was really good. Abigail Breslin is the kidnapped girl. Wow. Has she aged well? She's really come a long way from Little Miss Sunshine. She did a good job for the most part. Though, when she would get upset, when she would cry and stuff, I felt it was like a little over the top and a little too much, but that's overlookable as well. Supporting cast was also nice. Morris Chestnut, Michael Imperioli, uh, David Otunga, who's actually a wrestler, and even Roma Mafia. All good jobs on their part. Bad guy work in this movie. He wasn't your typical bad guy where when he has the hero tied to a chair, he reveals his master plan. I liked how this guy was like out there and super crazy, but he didn't tell you why. Instead, they showed you why. As the cops discovered his motive, so to speak, so did the audience. Now, I only have two gripes with this movie. One of them is overlookable. The other one just doesn't sit well with me at all. First thing is, Halle Berry is this experienced 911 operator, right? She's a veteran. She's been there a while. So she must have seen or heard it all. But... This one phone call gets to her and gets her all rattled. I just didn't understand that. Um, second thing is, at the end of the movie, you know, there's a part where it's like, okay, they could have ended the movie right here, you know? But then there's an additional scene. I'm just going to call it the saw scene. And it just is totally out of character for the main person. It was just like, why did you do that? Why didn't you make a deleted scene? But anyways, overall, this movie worked. So much so that from writing the one to a five, I'm going to give it the call a four. So I recommend this movie, WWE Films. Good job. I hope this is a glimmer of what to expect in the future from you guys. So, till next time, see ya.